no traitor. Don't want your guard there. These damn us are stirring up tensions. Aloy, what brings you to Meridian? A threat. Helis commands a legion of fanatics called the Eclipse. They will attack soon from the west, with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call, waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target of Odd. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, your Radiance. Yes, send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the city guard fortify the western ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight, where the Spire rests. Aloy. Allow me to... apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm, I'm glad that's behind us. Now, it will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. Have you spoken to Blameless Murad? Not yet. He wishes to speak to you. Panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. Ah, Aloy. Preparations are underway on the ridge defenses and at the spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for Shards. But many came for you, by name. For me. Don't be so humble. The ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? Yes, bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke with before. The Osaram cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. You're welcome to tour the defenses. And the Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parley with them. I will. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes.
Petra. Here she is, the guest of honor. I knew there was something about you, hammered from the stuff they make leaders out of. And I don't say that to every Nora girl who blows through my town. That happens to you a lot? <laughs> Had to build a wall to fend them off. <laughs> Good thing I'm persistent then. <laughs> I've missed our little talks. Murad asked me to look over the city arsenal. These guns have aged well. That runs in the Osram, no? They were the pride of the Mainspring Forges, so I've taken greater pride in improving them. Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. Have at it, then. The target should put up a little less of a fight than those bandit raiders did. No need to aim it like a bow. Range is good. Try the next. See? That'll knock a machine on its ass, ancient or no. With these, I think we could hold off an army. You know that I appreciate your help, Petra. This battle... I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll see each other again, I know it. Next time could be the time I'll convince you to stick with the free heap. Petra, you know I... I do, I do. Always had a weakness for restless girls, though. Have you just polished that armor, Who's it? Of course. Uh, isn't that a little... What? Nothing. Out with it, woman. Forget I said anything. You look very dignified. Thank you. And shiny. Very shiny. Aloy. I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry. I'll leave that to the other Nora at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting starts. Aloy, when you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. We're letting the Osterum take Durval. They'll give him a rap on the knuckles and let him go. Little Huntress, you called, so here I am. Ready to fight? Fight? I thought you just wanted tea and conversation. Is there a battle coming? I wasn't informed. Well, that can't be true. You're always informed. Ah, so I am. We've only met a few times, and yet you know me so well. I don't think I know you at all. But I'd like to. Hmm. When I hear that line, it usually means something else. Can I tell you a secret? Of course. I've been waiting for this fight my whole life. The enemy we face today is the same that turned Meridian into a slave pit, and some fall into a bloodbath. Fanatics who torture and murder mothers, fathers, families, children, and say it's the will of the sun. I hate them. Aloy. I've got the scars of their whips on my back to prove it. And today, we can get rid of them once and for all. I said I came for you, but that was only half the truth. I came for them. This time, they're not getting away. I'm with you, Vanasha. We'll fight them together. And I won't forget it, little Huntress. Tomorrow, may the sun rise in a better world. Aloy? Um, at ease, Uthid. Meridian will be glad to have you on its side. And I am too. The honor is mine. You saved my epitaph from being a fine soldier, but a fool of a man. I'm hoping you won't need any kind of epitaph just yet. As the sun wills. When you found me, I was trying to eke out a glorious death. But now... A glorious life seems more preferable. To watch Edelman play in the Low Gardens again. 
Still surrounded by a dozen guards, but... What you did, Aloy... It was done well. Although, I can't shake this road. Vinasha. She delights in goading me. Like brazen colors waved before a behemoth. Do you want me to ask her to stop? No. I accept it. Well then. Meridian shall stand and shadow shall fall. I swear it. Here's to that, Uthid. It's not what I imagined when I was a boy, but it's decent work keeping the city safe. The Osram that tried to kill our friend King? Traitors, the whole trial of them. When I have a to. Woman now but lives. by the time I have to, I it's usually want to win as a king. Elita. I'm, I'm pleased to see you, but what are you doing here? I'm helping prepare for the battle. If a troll were here, we would have fought together. I know it. So I'm doing everything I can. Digging battlements, collecting herbs, anything that makes a difference. I can't take his place. Nothing can take his place. But I'm here for him, for both of us. I understand what it was he saw in you. He'll always be with me. Sun and shadow still meet for a moment, every dawn and dusk. I should give you this, to help in the battle. By the sun, I hope you don't need it. Thank you, Alita. Be safe. It's always the ones you least expect that cause you trouble. From their metal bones, I'll make my armor and my song. Aratok? I didn't expect you to come all this way. It's true, I am a stranger in this green and snowless land. Aurea forgave the Karja, but I never did. Still, I was compelled to come for my once chieftain. It's good to see you leading again. This young ice hunter seeks to prove herself also. Her spark reminds me of Aurea's in our youth. And I'm proud to take my place behind you on this hunt. A great challenge. Survive and prevail, right? There is no other way. You're the hunter from the Banuk Grove. I remember you also, Nora. The machines shook free of their slumber after you arrived. Raged and fought. Uh, well, that, that wasn't my fault. No, I'm thanking you. That night, I decided I would not go back to Banur. I would take my hunt into these lands. So many machines, even demons. Spidery, skittering, without the blue light in them. Dead things that must be killed again. Our enemies dug up an army of them. An army? Yes, that's why I came. Good. I'll wait. Talana, why are you here? I'm your hawk. Where else would I be? Defending Meridian with Avad? I leave that to the rest of the Lodge. I will not stand aside while one of mine fights alone. Not again. Are you sure you... You're risking your life for all of us. You can't ask me to stand by and watch. Not when I have the power to change it. Then I won't ask you. It's settled. I will fight by your side. My only request... Name it. Leave the biggest machine for me. <sighs> no promises.
rises taller than the highest tree. These cards are in their frilled armor look like turkeys. But there are so many. And now we are so few. They are not our foe. Not this time. Quiet now. She comes. The Anointed? War Chief Sona. War Chief, you... you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the Metal Devil that threatens us all. But my place is in the Sacred Land. The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word. Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow. The Anointed doesn't like it. She doesn't much like being called Anointed, either. It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen... many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? You really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen. From something I can't imagine. And you, after all that's happened, all you've done... I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the Anointed bid it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a Metal Devil, because the Goddess says. Or because you say. I think the Goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I. are these guys? They call themselves the Eclipse. What does that even mean? It's when the moon gets in front of the sun, idiot. Is that supposed to sound scary or something? I don't know. They used to be Karja. Karja are always yammering about sun and shade. Well, if they used to be Karja, how tough can they be? Yeah, they're best guys, just like birds. We'll rip their little feathers off. Hey, let's not get cocky, boys. Aloy, <laughs> so here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's gonna be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. That's... big. It sounds like our kind of fight. Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front, front of the line! line! And why? Steel before iron! And what are we gonna do? Hit him like a hammer till he can't, can't hit, hit back. back! Damn right! You hear that? Nobody's getting past the vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. Thank you, Erend. Ursa would be proud. Only if we win. Roland's apartment feels empty. Should I sleep? Did I leave anything unfinished? 